Hello my friends, Bruce here. So uh, this is an old friend. Uh, we're just going to look up on the PC when he came in last time, but there's not very many of these around. There's lots of them around that have a gas engine, but this one has an electric motor. So that's pretty handy for a contractor on a big job, eh? Nailing and drywalling and... and um, when it came in last time, nothing ran. The motor blew the breaker, the, uh, the uh, two tanks, they're a twin tank. They call it a wheelbarrow design. They we're half full of water. I don't know what happened if they parked it somewhere hot and then the cooling air sucked water in or if it was just plopped down on the floor of a barn and it flooded. I have no idea. But we got it running and it held air, well it didn't hold air, but it stayed pressured up for six hours or more, but it still had a leak. And now, uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. I have no idea, no clue in the gate post on how this thing, uh, what's wrong with it. The, the owner who employs the guys, and I don't do a lot of commercial stuff, but I will do commercial stuff that can come in the back of a pickup. Because I don't like plugging off the alley, eh? I don't like being... Um, disruptive. I mean I make enough noise and stuff already which which is why all the neighbors get a free lawnmower repair every year. One free lawnmower repair. <laughs> so let's just see what's going on with this old thing. You know what we gotta do? And I had a heck of a oh, I had a heck of a time uh, Getting everything just so it would work, it would, you know, it was still kind of finicky. So I think we're going to need a huskier, a huskier cord than my little red one. So we'll use this yellow one. It's a 15 amp cord. So let's just get as much light on this thing as we can. I'm going to plug this into here. Ooh, same plug-in as my spotlight. That might not work, eh? And because the tire's flat, now, the, you see that? It's, it's low at that end. The water collects down here, not up here. So that's too bad. I might have to get a solid rubber tire for this guy. Alright, we've got a little bit more to do before we fire this up, so let me just uh, turn you off and I'll come back when I'm ready. Alright, I just added a little bit of air and that helped immensely. But it looks like we need more we need more feet or something on the bottom. Let me just squirt a little bit of soap on, uh, on that tire and see where the air is coming out first. I know it's not the major problem, but it's one of them, right? This isn't the bubbliest stuff. It's not that leaky. We're going to put some green slime into it. I probably already did that. I got to pull that video up. And I should put a link. And I, never, I don't do this very often, but I should put a link in the this video to that video. I'm not seeing bubbles. Okay, so the leak's not that bad. Problem two, it's still a little low at this end, so let's uh, Get a couple of 4x4 four four blocks, or even 2x4 blocks for that matter. 
man talking to himself, arrested in Central Park. Here, is that going to give us the right angle? Maybe. Let's see if we got any water in here. We probably do. Yes, we do. Yeah. Why? This is the wateriest air compressor I've ever seen. Well, we'll just let her go. And that's why we have these things. You guys are, oh, you're not even watching this here. Okay, so I'm letting the water out of the air compressor. Some. Not like last time, eh? Okay, so that's pretty much most of the water. Maybe a half a cup. That's not bad. So let's spring you in and... Uh, ooh. <laughs> I bet you I just... Look what I just did to my cord. Look what I've done to my cord, Mom. Okay, so we're going to have to fix that. That is now in the repair pile. I can't believe I didn't blow the breaker on that. I'm not spending very good time on you, am I? I'm going to unplug the air compressor for now. I got this big boy cord. Is that what the uh, description would be when you buy one at the store? A big boy cord? I use this to feed my uh, 115 volt welder when it's a long ways away from the plug-in. over here. And I'm just going to plug this in and we're going to find out what's going on. Turn off the switch. It's, oh man, this is tough. One thing that's on the other side of the compressor. Off. So, I want control, as much control as possible, right? Good. Well, that's good so far. Now, it might pop the breaker, so I'm going to unplug the spotlight. I don't use the light, Bruce. Maybe we can just do a little bit of this. Does that help? Yes, it does. So now I'm going to hit the breaker and see what happens. Hit the switch. <laughs> An open open valve, that's not a problem. Get this out of there. <sighs> that was not me. So I need a bigger mop now. So it's compressing. It's compressing air already. Let me just push this out of the way and mop this up. I'll be back in a bit. Look at it. It peed on my floor. And yes, you ladies out there watching, I know how to mop. Rotate the mop every few strokes. 
There's dirt in it, you push it off to the side. Now let's just lift this compressor up and wipe underneath there. Get it. Okay. Let's assume the position. Let's get another light. Now that I can't use my spot. Well, let's see if it pressures up and uh, turns itself off. that I am just going to put on a shield because you don't know like compressed air is probably one of the most dangerous things you'll work on okay because we don't know what this thing has been up to <laughs> Okay, I got it up to 140 pounds on the main on the main valve and 130 pounds on the regulator. So that tells me something's not right, eh? Okay, so I'm going to take off the cover off of the switch right here. Now this is where we're at. I let some air off. Okay, I let some air off. We're back down to 100 pounds, which is still not safe safe. This, these two valves were facing that way, so we might have to rig up something a little more stronger for them to plug their uh, receptacles into. And uh, we're going to adjust it, I think. I'm pretty impressed. So I want it to turn off at a probably about 130 and I want the regulator to show at about 120, 115. So let's just play a little bit. is not turning off so I'll be right back as I got to get a few tools okay there's the cover there's the switch with the cover off it just connects the in to the out we'll, we'll fix this later that's common and it says in here on these two it says right there in turn clockwise to increase both and cut out and cut in so I want to decrease both. So I took both of these screws and I turned them out one full turn. So now I'm going to turn them in one full turn. So it should come on. Oh, that's all. I see. Look at that. Oh, well, we'll turn them one more time. Yeah, let's get it so oh, we have to let some air off, I guess. Right down here.
that's kind of wonky. Okay, let's try that again. We'll see when it cuts in. Pretty good, 138 and what was it, 105? All right, the first repair is gonna be, I don't like this because the, I don't like this uh, connector because this is the end that plugs into the wall or the truck or whatever and it always gets twisted. This one's fine because it's the same one but it's tie wrap down, never moves. It's tight, 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 tight. So I've got this adapter and we will put that in there and tighten it down onto the cable. That cable will go through there and the wires will come out there. So I just have to undo a few things. Unfortunately for me, it's always the one in the back, always the one in the back, eh? Isn't that how it goes? So I'm gonna, I don't know if you can watch from the magic chair or not. Yes, Road King, I stole the word magic from you. Are you watching? Um, the, shoe, the, the mount shoe on my camera just broke. I'm quite upset. Well, yeah. It's been, it's been abused and abused, and I bet you I've had it for three years. So let's take these two guys off of here. They go to the motor. White on the left. That's white. And we'll have to do take the ground off too. Of course, it's probably in some impossible to reach location. No, not bad. Okay. All right. Replacement. Area Whitney. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that camera. Of course I need the camera to show you what's wrong with the camera. See now it's wobbling. Ew. Don't go don't throw up. So that goes through there and there. These go through here. Like that. How are they? What kind of condition are they in? Fair. I think they'll be all right. Okay. Ground hot and white. Yeah, it's white. And we're gonna tighten those up just exactly like that. I like the orientation of the conductors. I'm still thinking what I'm going to do with the regulator mount. Okay, that should be a lot stronger. Those two like that. This will increase the strength of the input connector. It's going to be a little tight. So I'm just trying to thread it on the back. As soon as I get it started, I'll show you. 
I just need a third. I need an arm coming or an arm coming out of my forehead. Okay. So there you are. We are there and there. I'm just tightening that up now. See? Uh, there. So I'm going to just get a, uh, a chisel and tap that on there. Be right back. I'm just tapping that over like that. Oh my gosh, are you okay? I dropped you right on your noggin. I'm going to turn you off. Okay, my friends, we're getting there. I've got it cleaned up a little bit. So at least I can work on it and change the oil in the compressor. It turns on at about 90 and a, it turns off at about 130. I'm happy with that. I put a set of feet on here because it was just sitting on the tire or the feet and it was draining to the front so the water's collecting over here. Right? I did use a little green slime in the tire. That's okay. And I wish I had a solid rubber one of those. That would be nice. And uh, now I'm just, the only thing left, and it's not leaking anywhere as far as I can see, is the positioning of this regulator. The old one, when it came in, had a yellow flexible tie up to here. But I don't have anything that exotic. So, I gotta think about it. I thought I would do a few of the other jobs around just to see if maybe uh, something would come to my mind and it hasn't but I do have some pretty cool angle iron out in the uh, Rack, so let me just go have a look Okay, we're getting there uh, We just turned it off at 130 pounds and the regulator runs at 110 which I like and uh, We're gonna I'm just gonna charge it one more time after this. Oh, we got a leak right there on that devil Look at that. Okay, that's an easy one to fix. And that could be something that'll drain you all night, eh? Okay, good. We'll see how much it drain. I'm, ooh, I'm shaking the camera around like a rookie. Hey, rookie. So what I did was I put a piece of aluminum bracing back to the brace down there held together with that green bracket and that's going to hold the outlets still whoops still so that this isn't bending up and bending down and bending up and bending down right that that's going to be really nice and solid so that is part of the problem with this compressor is that uh, in phase one we just got it running right now phase two we can work on little leaks like that I'm going to pressure it up one more time. We still have to do the oil in the compressor, but it has oil. As you can see, it's about there, I think. That's not much oil either, eh? There, that wasn't screwed up all the way. So we're going to let this sit for overnight, but I'm going to charge it one more time. So we clean it up a little bit, put new feet on it so that it has just a slight drain to the bottom uh, valves over here. We readjusted the switch. It had a terrible plastic adjuster on there, which was stripped out. So I took a fine thread SAE and stuck one in there, right in here. It seems to shut off and turn off at the right amount of time. So let's just do a cycle. I love how quiet it is. Off. Okay, it turns off at 130. I like that for an older machine. And we have a little bubbling going on right here. So we can fix that tomorrow. I want to see how much it drops with that small leak. I never found any other leaks on this machine. But I think that bracing this in tight with this bracket here will be the key for. Uh, a little more sturdiness. Whew. 
Okay, my friends, I only lost 10 pounds overnight. So that's probably this guy right here. We'll have another look at that. Okay, now it comes for the uh, jury rig operation here. I'm just going to take this piece of aluminum, put a strap over it like that, so that it holds this down, and it's now going to be immovable. I'm also going to cut this off a little bit shorter. So I'm just in the process of doing a couple of things and I will show you when we get back. Okay, something that is happening here is I need lots of oil because the uh, aluminum and the steel bits just don't want to mix. Okay, here, I'm just going to pre-thread these so that they are, oh yeah, we can use the, we can use uh, machines for this. Lovely. And now we're going to cut this off at the measured distance. And I'm going to use earplugs for sure. You know what? I bought a box of, I think I bought a box of 500 of these. And I've used them up. Here we go. Perfect. Trim on the grinder and we're done. All right, here's our our newly located outlets. It's really, really strong. Before it was just floating on the regulator and it was turning back and forth. And when I did this two years ago, I thought, yeah, they might have trouble with that twisting around. So I I built this big long silver back there and that holds that's bolted on with a big bracket from underneath there and then there's a strap going up and over the two outlets remember it's not factory right it's a prototype <laughs> 